Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. Today's video is a very very big recruitment opportunity from a core company of electronics. So this channel is EC Electronics. We mainly focus on uh, job opportunities, career guidance, uh, lectures and everything on electronics, electrical instrumentation, uh, these subjects. So today I am very very happy because we are going to see one of the biggest uh, recruitment opportunities from a very very core company of electronics. That too. A government of India organization. So when I'm saying this, uh, I know the first company that comes to your mind is mostly Bharat Electronics Limited. Yes, you guessed it right. Uh, or you have seen in the thumbnail of, of course. So Bharat Electronics Limited has a very big announcement here. And the main attraction is that there is no requirement for any experience. So generally when they uh, hire for trainee engineers, project engineers, these are the two categories for which they hire people. Uh, they ask for at least one year of experience. Trainee engineers, uh, they hire uh, freshers, but mostly they ask minimum one year of experience. But here, the main attraction or the, uh, what do you say, the thing that catched my eyes is that they are not asking for any experience. Uh, we are going to see one of the biggest recruitments from Bharat Electronics Limited for electronics, especially 200 vacancies is there. Uh, there is also opening for mechanical. We are going to see everything in detail. While I'm explaining and uh, reading through the notification, you can see everything on the screen. Uh, like images I'll be including. So, let us see the details. Okay. So, there is a very big announcement from Bharat Electronics Limited for the recruitment of probationary engineer. The name is probationary engineer. Just like probationary officer. This is probationary engineer. So, they have given that there is a recruitment happening for probationary engineer electronics with 200 vacancies, probationary engineer mechanical 150 vacancies. So, both has a um, very good amount of uh, openings. So, good chances, very good chances of getting selected now. Okay, salary is 40,000 to 1 lakh 40,000. CTC is 13 lakhs. Very, very good openings. Age limit is 25 years. They have given that in addition to the basic pay, the selected candidates will be getting DA, HRA, allowances, medical pay, medical reimbursement and other things. It's a government of India organization. It is one of the premium government uh, organizations. So definitely you will be getting the allowances, medical things and everything uh, that is part and parcel of this. Okay, let's see the details. Uh, of what are the streams eligible they have all, all, also given the details of post probationary engineer electronics 200 probationary engineer mechanical 150 post you should be having either b btech or bsc in electronics same as b btech bsc in mechanical okay they have given the details of reservation and everything but there is quite a good amount of uh, chances for getting selected even though you belong to the uh, non reserved section there is a good amount of chances Eligible qualification, the probationary officer for applying for the probationary officer, you should be having a first class in either BE, BTEC or BSc. BSc candidates are also eligible, okay. BSc engineering graduate from an AICT approved uh, government college, all the, uh, the government of India organizations, they are looking for people from AICT approved or UGC approved colleges. Uh, of electronic the streams are electronics electronics communication electronics telecommunication communication telecommunication and mechanical discipline candidate with first class in ami amiet and diet in the above disciplines are also eligible it's a i think a different uh, course that you are studying scst persons with just pass class other people need a 60 percentage or a first class but scst candidates and persons with disabilities they always get reservation so here there is past classes only required. Other uh, equivalent disciplines and dual specializations shall not be considered. One very attractive thing is that if you are in the final semester, a lot of questions I get. Final years are also eligible. Okay, candidates who are currently pursuing the final semester uh, in the specializations given who are also applying, uh, who are also appearing for the examinations in the May, June of 2025 are also eligible because by that time only the selection process and everything will be, uh, I, I mean, it will be uh, over. So you get enough time to prepare for, uh, you know, for joining and everything. So that is one thing. And the conversion criteria for different or uh, different universities is different. 
So you have to take care of this conversion criteria. Make sure that your university policies, uh, you know, mark with the first class when you convert your score and everything from CGPA to a percentage. Okay, so please stick to that. Age limit, maximum age limit for underserved category is 25 years. There is obviously age relaxation for uh, SCST category that is 5 years, 3 years for OBC. And uh, persons with disabilities, there is 10 years age relaxation. Very, uh, in my opinion, this is one of the excellent opportunities to join. Even though you are uh, belonging to the, you know, SAC category, uh, EWS or general or whatever. Uh, please make sure that you get your reservation. Make sure that the documents for the reservation is ready. Okay, because you need that while applying and everything. Number of posts we have already seen it is. 350 in total that is 200 plus 150 again highest openings is for uh, electronics branch itself so it's like very uh, it's very exciting from my side okay now the above opportunities are for the following locations let's see about the locations Bangalore is there Ghaziabad, Pune, Hyderabad, Chennai, uh, Machila Patanam that is I think in Andhra Pradesh Panchkula in Haryana, Kodwara in Uttarakhand and Navi Mumbai. I think all the BA locations are combined and they are hiring. So you can get placed in different locations. You can obviously set your uh, preferences, but uh, whether you are getting that in uh, your preferred location depends. But in my opinion, e even though you are getting in a distant location, even though you are not getting in a nearby location, definitely you should try for this because it's a government of India organization. The pay is good. The experience that you are getting is very good and there is very big opportunity so last day to apply is 31st of january a lot of uh, i think a lot of companies has last date is 31st of january so please consider that let's have a look on the method of selection so we have done a very detailed video on the method of selection i don't think there is need for explaining it more and more times but let me just tell you there is going to be an exam computer based exam is there it is going to be more or less an MCQ type of an exam. And then there is going to be an interview. Okay. So test plus interview. Test, the weightage is 85 percentage. Interview, there is 15 percent. The remaining 50 percent, 15 percentage is interview. And the qualifying mark or qualifying percentage is 35 percentage is a qualifying mark for general um, OBC and EWS category. For the, uh, the SCST category, there is 30 percentage. 30 percentage out of this 100 percentage is only the qualifying criteria because mostly the questions will be coming from your um, respective discipline that is if you're from electronics questions mostly is from like uh, you can say 80 percentage of questions is from the respective engineering subject the remaining is only from general aptitude reasoning and everything so questions you can expect like you know the uh, the pass mark is not too much so prepare according to that if you have a good uh, what do you say if you have a good understanding of your subject, definitely there is a great chance. Syllabus also they have given here. The primary computer-based test is having mostly the questions from your respective engineering discipline. Additionally, test will be including set, uh, sections of general aptitude, analytical um, reasoning abilities and everything. But mostly stick to your subject. Now applying, what you have to do here is they have mentioned that candidates who are interested in applying and submitting the application go to the site of uh, BEL uh, and apply there I'll be putting that link in the description so you don't have to uh, you know go through any other things one more thing I want to mention is that uh, if you are getting shortlisted you have to log into the site of BEL and you have to download the uh, the what do you say the admit card whole ticket they won't send the whole ticket to your uh, mail or uh, they won't send your to your home or anything you have to download the whole ticket that is up to you okay so please note this down have a regular you know check in uh like on the site of bln please confirm whether you are getting shortlisted whether you are eligible whether your whole ticket is ready or anything so that's up to you so please note this in your brain because some people they wait for the whole ticket and they will understand finally towards the end oh i am not going to get it in my email i have to download it so yeah there is application fees, obviously, because it is a very big opportunity. A lot of people will apply. So in order to cut short the number of applications, they have given a uh, fees of 1180 
for the general EWS and OBC, uh, and OBC category. Candidates uh, belonging to SCST, persons with disability, ESM, these categories are exempted from paying the fees. Means you don't have to pay any fees. And one more thing, once you have paid the fees, they won't be refunding the, pay, uh, the money or anything. So make sure that you are filling the form correctly and then paying the fees. I also had uh, these kind of issues. Like when I was filling the application, I made some errors and then paid the fees. I lost the money. So we don't have, we don't want that to happen. Every rupees is valuable. So please uh, do everything properly. Have all your documents ready, your certificates, your reservation cards, your uh, ID proofs, resumes, photo, everything. Please get it ready and then apply. That's all. That's all for today's video. I'm really happy to bring these opportunities to you. And I'm not just bringing job opportunities. I'm also going to start a uh, course on Python. It's uh, something that I'm going to uh, do to help the electronics core company aspirants because all the electronics companies are asking for Python as a requirement. So we'll definitely start that. And that's that. Uh, I'm really hoping that you found the content useful. If yes, please uh, subscribe, uh, share and help the channel grow a little more, at least help it to reach 200k. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching.